Dear students, welcome to online live class, class 5, English version. This is your Kamrul sir, Alhamdulillah, I am fine. I hope you are also fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Dear students, today we will discuss chapter 6. The title of chapter 6, Fraction. Dear students, in chapter 6 you will get two exercise 6a and 6b now today we will discuss the basic concept of these two exercise so dear students let's we can start dear students i have written here some topics today we will discuss in details about this indicating slide. Now dear students, at first proper and improper fraction. So dear student, at first fraction. When we write a number as a line, suppose this one, 6 by 7, 1 by 2, 3 by 6 or 3 by 5. When we write a number as like this pattern, this is called our fraction. There are two parts, up and down. This upper part, this is called numerator and this is called denominator. So when we can say a number contains numerator and denominator, this type of number we can call as a fraction. Now this fraction we will get three types of fraction. As a naturally, we will get three type of fraction. Now, which the one? These three types. One number suppose proper fraction. We will get improper fraction. Basically, these two types: proper fraction, improper fraction. And from improper fraction, we can make another type of fraction. This is called mixed fraction. Clear? So, third one, mixed fraction. This is our mixed fraction. Now, we can convert improper to mixed fraction. Also, mixed fraction to improper fraction. Naturally, fundamental, these two types of fraction. Proper fraction improper fraction and mixed fraction this is one kind of improper fraction because we can convert mixed fraction as improper fraction also improper fraction as a mixed fraction now dear students proper fraction what is the proper fraction we know in a fraction there are two parts numerator and denominator the upper part is numerator and the down part is called denominator now if we get numerator is smaller than denominator or Alternate, you can say denominator is greater than numerator. Both are correct. Denominator is greater than numerator or numerator is smaller than denominator. Both are same meanings. Then we will get this type of fraction. They are proper fraction. Now, just we can write an example. Suppose 1 by 2. Here 1 is smaller than 2 or we can say 2 is greater than 1. That means here denominator is greater when denominator will be greater, this type of fraction is proper fraction. Now you can write so many examples. So many examples you can write. So where denominator is greater, so it will be proper fraction. And in proper fraction, converse, it will be the converse of proper fraction. So in proper fraction, when numerator will be greater than denominator, when numerator will be greater than denominator or we can see when denominator is smaller than numerator. This type of fraction is improper fraction. But dear students, one most important thing is if numerator and denominator is equal, suppose if numerator and denominator is equal, then this type of fraction, it will be which type, proper or improper? Suppose an example, 5 by 5. This is not proper fraction. Why? Because numerator is not smaller than denominator. And improper 
we can say the definition of improper when denominator will be smaller but here they are equal so which type of fraction remember that the definition of improper fraction it will be when numerator is greater than denominator or or that means there are two options when numerator is greater than denominator or numerator and denominator is equal then we can say they are improper fraction so when numerator and denominator is equal also we will be able to say this type of fraction as a improper fraction so now we can write the some example of improper fraction look dear students suppose 3 by 2 here numerator is greater 7 by 5 also we can write 5 by 5 now dear students uh, suppose 3 an integer and we know 3 is a integer now our question 3 this is an integer is it a improper fraction yes why dear students 3 we can write 3 as a 3 by 1 so here denominator is 1, numerator 3, so we can say obviously numerator is greater than denominator. That means every integer number, they take 1 as a denominator. So every integer, we can say all integer numbers, they are converted as a improper fraction. They will treat it as a improper fraction. Very good. So 3, this will be improper fraction. And 5 by 5? This is also improper fraction according to the definition. Definition there are two options, so it will be improper fraction. Now mixed fraction. A mixed fraction contains two parts. Remember, every mixed fraction contains two parts. First one integer, and second case it will be proper fraction. Look, at first will be integer, then proper fraction. So we can say every mixed fraction, mixed fraction contain two parts, first one integer and second one proper fraction. Example, suppose two whole 3 by 5. Look, these two, this is integer and 3 by 5, this is our proper fraction. So another example, 7 whole 1 by 2. This 7, this is integer and 1 by 2, this is our proper fraction. So we can say Mixed fraction contains two parts, integer and another one, proper fraction. So, dear student, we can say there are three types of fraction, but fundamentally, fraction is two types, proper fraction and improper fraction. And mixed fraction, this is the also a part of improper fraction. But you can say there are three types of fraction, proper, improper and mixed fraction. So, dear student, I think your concept is clear. Now, we will go to the converting to improper to mixed fraction and mixed fraction to improper fraction so we know which one is proper and improper fraction now converting to improper to mixed fraction suppose dear students Now dear students, now we will convert improper to mixed fraction. Suppose some example uh, or you can uh, go your exercise 6a, exercise 6a. In exercise 6a, uh, problem number 2. Suppose 2, 1, this is 7 by 3. Now 7 by 3, this is an improper fraction. Now we have to convert as a mixed fraction. So dear students, now divide, divide 7 by 3. Now what will be the answer? 2. This is 6 and now 1. Now you have to write the answer 2 whole 1 by 3. 
So this is your answer. 2 whole 1 by 3. Now read 2. Then we have to say whole. 2 whole 1 by 3. Like this. 2 whole 1 by 3. You have to read 2 whole. Whole means integer. 2 whole 1 by 3. 1 by 3 this is proper fraction. So this is uh, our answer. Now dear students look how can we write it? 2 whole 1 by 3. Dear yes, students, this 2, this 2, this 1. So, this is our answer of division, quotient part. This is our under answer of division. So, at first you have to write quotient part. Then whole. Now, dear yes, students, this is our reminder. So, write their reminder. And this 3, this is our Division. This is our division. Now write their division. So this is your converting part. Quotient whole R by D. That means remainder by division. So now write answer 2. This is quotient 1, remainder and 3. This is division. So we can write 2 whole 1 by 3. Clear yes, yesterday? Very simple. Now we can write another some examples. Uh, suppose 78 by 11. Number 4. 78 by 11. Now here at first divide 11, 78 by 11. It will be 7 times 77. Now reminder 1. So we can write answer at first quotient. 7 then whole. Now we have to write proper fraction. Reminder 1 and division 11. So our answer 7 whole 1 by 11. Clear dear student. Very simple. So you will be able to solve remaining maths. Now, dear students, we will discuss mixed fraction to improve perfection. Mixed fraction to improve perfection. Mixed to improve. Now, mixed fraction to improve perfection. Suppose exercise 6a, problem number 1. Here, now suppose problem number 1, 1, 2 whole, 2 by 3. 2 whole, 2 by 3. Now, dear student, look, this one, this is our quotient, this is reminder, and this 3, this is our division. And we know quotient into division plus reminder. Which one? This is our, this is indicate our dividend. This is indicate our Dividend. Here, dear students, quotient into divisor plus reminder. This is the formula of dividend. And look, dear students, suppose 78 by 11. Now, which one? This 78, this is indicate dividend. And this 11, this is indicate divisor. Now, this is an improper fraction. But this is mixed fraction. Now, this mixed fraction we have to convert as improper fraction. So, this 3, this 3, this is divisor. Look, this is divisor, this 3. So, we can write this is 3. But, the upper part, it will be dividend. So, we should apply the formula of dividend. Quotient into divisor plus remainder. Now, which one is quotient? 2. Which one is divisor? 3. And which one is remainder? 2. So, we have to multiply 2 and 3. Why? Because this is quotient and divisor. So, we can write 2 into 3. Not necessary to give the bracket mandatory for you. I just give a bracket. Now, remainder. So, we can say 2 into 3 plus 2. Not necessary to give the bracket. 2 into 3. That means quotient into division plus remainder. So, what will be the answer dear students? 3 to the 9 plus 2 and this is 3. So, 11 by 3. So, we can say our answer 11 by 3. Very simple. Why we write 2 into 3 plus 2? Because this is the formula of dividend. Quotient into div divisor plus remainder. Clear dear student? So, by applying this process, you will be able to solve any maths from mixed fraction to improper fraction. Now, dear students, we will go to the addition and subtraction. They are both pattern addition and subtraction.
Now, addition of fraction. Dear students, suppose in your problem number 3, 3 problem number 1, 4 by 6 plus 3 by 6. Dear students, for finding the value of sum, at first you have to take the LCM, step 1. So, our step 1, we can say we have to take LCM. Which one? LCM of the denominators. <coughs> LCM of the denominators. Look, here denominator 6 and this 6. There are two fractions. 6 and 6. Now, what will be the LCM of the uh, denominator? 6 and 6. It will be 6. Now, step 2. Step 2. Divide the LCM. Now we have to divide the LCM. So this LCM, we have to divide the LCM by denominator. Now we have to divide this LCM by denominator. Suppose first this fraction. So 6 divided 6. What will be the answer? 1. Now this 1, it will be multiplied by 4. And... By the quotient numerator will be multiplied and now by the quotient 6 divided 6 answer is 1 this is our quotient now, by the question, numerator will be multiplied. Now, numerator 4, 4, 1, ja, 4. Now, 4 into 1. Why 1? Because 6 divided 6, answer 1. So, 4 into 1. Then, write plus. Again, 6 divided 6, 1. We have to uh, apply the step 2 separately from this fraction, this, this, this. 6 divided 6, answer 1. So, they are numerator 3. So, 3 into 1. So, it will be 4, 1, ja, 4. Plus 3 on the 3 divided by 6. Dear students, if you can calculate as your mind board, then directly you can write third sentence. Clear? Or you can write second sentence or directly also you will be able to write the third sentence. Now, this will be 7 by 6. Now, dear students, 7 by 6, proper fraction or improper fraction? Obviously, it is improper fraction. When answer is improper fraction, then obviously you have to convert as a mixed fraction clear because answer we can't write as a proper fraction so we need to convert as a mixed fraction now if we divide 7 by 6 it will be 1 now 1 so it will be 1 whole 1 by 6 so this will be our answer so at first we have to apply this one step 1 step 2 very simple then as a simple process now dear students Suppose our problem number 2, problem number 2, this is indicate 1 whole 2 by 3 plus 2 whole 2 by 3. Dear students, look, they are mixed fraction, they are mixed fraction. But to complete addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, for any operation, at first you have to uh, convert this mixed fraction as an improper fraction. So at first we can write... 3 1 ja 3 plus 2 5 we can write directly 3 1 ja 3 plus 2 5 now write this 3 3 2 ja 6 plus 2 this will be 8 now dear students it's similar to previous math so step 1 take the lcm 3 and 3 they are lcm 3 now we can write 5 1 ja 5 plus 8 1 ja 8 now this is 13 by 3. Now, if we divide, it will be 4. Remainder will be 1 and division 30. So, answer 4, 4, 1 by 30. 100% similar process for subtraction. Now, dear students, we can give one example. Suppose, suppose 
Suppose one example for your subtraction. Suppose nine number math. Eight by seven minus five by seven. Eight by seven minus five by seven. Now at first take the LCM seven. So it will be eight one the eight minus five one the five. So it will three by seven. Now three by seven proper fraction. So we can write the answer. But dear students, remember problem number eleven. This is three minus three by four. Now this is three. We have to minus three by four. Now three we can take as a three by one. And this is three by four. Now dear students, what will be the LCM of one and four? Four. So at first step one LCM. Now step two divide the LCM by denominator. If we Four is divided by one. Then answer will be four. Now this four we have to multiply as a three. Now we can write three into four. Then minus. Now four divided four. Answer one. So it will be three into one. Now what will be the answer, dear students? We can write it will be twelve minus three, and this is four. So it will be nine by four. So nine by four is improper fraction. Now if we convert, it will be two whole. One by four. So answer two whole one by four. Remember, while any integer you can take as a three by one. Now take the LCM. Now if we divide LCM by one, answer will be same. So we have to multiply three by LCM. We can say because answer is same. Now we will get this one. Clear, dear student? Very simple. So now we can show addition subtraction. Now, dear students, multiplication and division. Our last topics: multiplication and division. Exercise six B. Exercise six B. We get multiplication and division. Exercise six B. Suppose exercise six B. Now, dear students, if we go to the exercise six B. Problem number suppose one. Our problem number one. Two by three into four. Now, what will be the answer? Dear students, here four. This is integer, so we can take as a two by three into four by one. We can write it. Now, what is the main rules for multiplication and division, dear students? For multiplication, at first multiplication, we have to um, minimize as a up and down part. That means. We can divide numerator by denominator. Now this numerator we can divide by this denominator. Also the all denominators of the fraction. These, these, and some this one. That means here we have to divide numerator by any denominator, and also we can divide denominator by any numerator of the fraction. This is the main rule. That means shortly we can say we have to divide up part by down part, and uh, down part it will be divided by up part. So we have to call, uh, minimize up and down. Minimize that means division. We have to divide. Now, dear students, look three and four. Now we can cut two and one. So when our minimization part is complete, or we can't minimize, that means same thing. Then we should multiply up and up, down and down. That means. Numerator will be multiplied uh, by numerator and denominator will be multiplied by denominator. So here three one three two eight sorry two four eight. So eight by three. Now this is improper fraction. Now if we convert, it will be two whole two by three. So this is our answer. Suppose dear students another one <coughs> problem number suppose sixteen. Ten whole, sorry, ten into two whole four by five. Now, dear students, this ten we can take as a ten into one, ten by one, and two whole. This will be five. Now, five twos are ten. Ten plus four, fourteen. So it is fourteen. Now we can't minimize. Yes, look, five and ten, five and ten. Now, if we divide by five, it will be one. If we divide ten by five, it will be two. We have to divide by same number. So five, ten divided by five. Answer one and this two. 
Now one one jam one. Now fourteen two jam twenty. Look here de denominator is one. Here denominator is one, and we know here denominator is one. Not necessary to write. So only we can write twenty. So this is our answer. Yeah, just very simple. So we have to minimize up and down. That means numerator by denominator and denominator by numerator. When your minimization is part is completed. Now we have to multiply numerator, numerator, denominator, denominator. Now, dear students, our last topics division. Now, division actually same same part as the like multiplication. But at first one part we have to mention it. Suppose our problem number five, dear students, problem number five, problem number one, exercise six B, exercise six B. Six by seven divided by two. Now, dear students, first step, we have to change our division sign as a multiplication sign. This is our first step. So, this division sign we have to change. Now, write six by seven. Six by seven unchanged. Six by seven. Now, division sign. Write multiplication sign. Now, suppose if we write division sign as a multiplication sign, so it will be supposedly uh, our changing part. Now, what will be the changing part? This two, this two, we can write this two as a two by one. We can write two as a two by one. Now, this two by one, we have to change. It will be reciprocal. Now, we have to write as a one by two, one by two, reciprocal. Clear? This is two. That means two by one. Now, if we change it as a reciprocal, it will be one by two. This one go to the up, and this two go to the down. Now look, dear students. Now this is multiplication. So when we change the division sign as a multiplication, and after division sign, after division sign, the fraction will be reciprocal. After division, not before division, it will be unchanged. Remember, it will be unchanged. Now it is the multiplication math. Now our same rules. We can divide two as a by two, and this is it will be three. No, now three one zero three. Seven on the seven, and this is proper fraction, so we can say this is our answer. So, dear students, when division sign will be converted as a multiplication, and after division fraction will be reciprocal, then this math will convert it as a multiplication. So now you can apply as a multiplication rules. So this is our topic. Now, dear students, some important rules for multiplication and division by proper fraction and improper fraction. Now you can know already in our previous classes. No problem. Next class, at first we will discuss these topics. Then we will go to the our word problems. We will solve our some creative problems. Okay, dear students. Now your homeworks. Exercise six A and six B. Solve and practice all maths without word problems. Without word problems. All addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Practice, practice, practice. Then you will get your easiest hand. It will be more easy for you. Dear dear students, thank you very much. No more today.